I am gonna do one thing I have never done before. That, my friends, is my New Year's resolution. Filipinos, wherever they are, in any part of the world, they uniquely celebrate and welcome the New Year the way they accustom back home. For centuries, we've been practicing all these beliefs to greet the New Year. Many of us do it with an expectant heart, being very optimistic, and looking forward hoping for prosperity. These beliefs and traditions had been passed on from generation to generation. So let's welcome 2020 with this 5 Filipino New Year's tradition that we don't see much today. <laughs> Jumping as high as you can, when midnight struck. Do you really want to jump? Do you want to? As I was growing up, we're always jumping when the 12 o'clock struck so that I will grow taller and taller. It's also one way of shaking off the bad locks from the past and you'll be healthy and will reach your goals for the incoming year. Hey Rach, maybe your resolution should be to um gossip less. Well, I don't gossip. I know there is no proven scientific explanation to back up this belief. But hey, it's worth a shot. Besides, jumping while screaming your heart out is a fun way to welcome the new year. Happy New Year! You make any resolutions? Yes! One! Involving you! All the lights on. Nope, that's a busted bulb. Turning all the lights on inside and outside the house including all the rooms, cabinets, drawers, and all of the items that you wanted to enter lock for the coming year. We do believe that when you do this ritual, you're sending away all the bad locks and encouraging new blessings to come to every corner of our house. Damn it, I guess it's a wiring issue. Shaking and making noise from coins. Are any of these coins worth anything? Filling up your pockets with coins or making noises with your coins by shaking it off of your pockets or scattering it in every corner of the house signifies that you're shaking off bad locks from the past year. Also, the ritual of throwing the coins on the floor will encourage abundance and no shortage of money for the whole family. We got in there, send blocks. Half million in cash. Boiling mung beans or mungo before the 12 o'clock strikes. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool, cool. Beans. Beans. Cool. Beans. When my grandfather was still alive, he was always boiling at least a cup of mung beans before midnight struck. He was telling us that when the mung beans pop while welcoming the new year, also signifies hopes, prosperity, and abundance for our daily lives. You know, it's important to enjoy life while you still can. Wearing polka dots on New Year's Eve. Polka dot, polka dot, polka dot! Really? The first on the list of every Filipino family is to wear polka dots on the New Year's Eve. Before, no one say about the lucky colors, which the Chinese people influenced us to include, but nowadays, they included it as part of the lucky things to do to welcome the new year. We do believe that wearing polka dots encourage the abundance of wealth and money for every member of the family. You show me a pay stuff for $72,000 on it, I quit my job right now and I work for you. Are you ready for more this new year? So we are. Show us some love by clicking the subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss out all year round.